Mauritania, West Africa, no one comes here. It's 99% desert with only 1,500 foreign tourists in 2018. What brings us here is a train. It's the longest in the world. We've heard locals hop it as a free and fast way to and from the coast to the interior of the country. Here's the catch though, it transports iron ore. The plan? We have no plan. All we've got is a name of a mining town, Zurat. We are, we are so confused. Okay, so um, we're on the train, not the way we expected to be on the train. So we arrived and uh, the local said, let's go, let's go, it's leaving, it's leaving. And they're trying to get us into the passenger car, which we are now. As you know though, the real experience is on the back of the iron ore coal. This is it. This is our first piece of iron ore. It was just taken from me, I don't know why. Uh, mais on ne veut pas uh, payer pour le billet. Parce qu'on n'a vraiment pas d'argent. <laughs> vraiment. On veut aller sur le, le autre. C'est pour ça, on a 500 ouïa, c'est tout. <laughs> Et alors, on ne peut pas. Oh, on le wagon minéralier Oui, oui, oui exactement. exactement. À l'arrivée du wagon minéralier, vous avez. Oui, oui, Exa exactement. Oui. Ah, ok. okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Non, merci beaucoup. Ah, oh, ok. The iron ore, yeah, the mineral. It's not good. It's not good. But what do we want? Go, 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 go! Okay, I assume. Let's go, babe. Uh huh. Maybe I get on the track. Look at this. <laughs> yeah! Welcome to the backbone of the Sahara. This is the iron ore train that connects Zurat, the mining city, to the port town of Nuadibu. This payload, this iron ore, goes to the coast to be exported and it's going to be our home for the next 20 hours. I hope you're ready for this. I hope we're ready for this. <laughs> oh, I don't think we're ready for this. <laughs> you can see that there is the mine. Uh, I think it's best that we actually just lay low for a little bit. Um, because I don't know how legal this is. I think it's just like tolerated, but maybe our presence shouldn't be known to the, the people out there. Look. Oh! Wow. That was intense. This is going to be a rough oh 20 God. hours. This is just the beginning. <laughs> We're yes. going to keep our heads low until we pass the, uh, the mine, and then we'll pop back up and get a couple more shots. So we're here, uh, the train hasn't really left yet. It's just been going back and forth, connecting to other cars. And so we'll go one direction, maybe a couple hundred meters, and then slam! And the other direction, slam! Just zigzagging as all of these hundreds and hundreds of rail cars connect together. It's uh, a little bit unpredictable. It's very loud. And I would be expecting another jolt here soon. So if we brace ourselves, How's this for a third date? <laughs> recommended. Highly recommended. Oh, there it is. You okay? Yeah. All right. And that, I believe, either a male waiting call 
or a dying dinosaur is the sound of our journey beginning finally. It's quite ominous. It's like those suspense cues in a horror movie. Exactly a comfortable experience. <laughs> but I guess that's the point. There's a book of mine that I like a lot called The Power of Myth by Joseph Campbell. In that book, he says, maybe we're not searching for the meaning of life. We're searching for the experience of being alive. Dust in our eyes and our skin whipped pink by the wind and iron ore. But I feel alive. How about you? <laughs> and that's why we do it. This light here is 
Shoom! The only stop on the train. This man here comes with a flashlight. He's probably looking to get a ride like us. Yeah, just um, just this. Look at it. A million stars. A million stars. kind of bed but there's no other choice we gotta make ourselves comfortable somehow so this is what we're doing a little mat Mike's got a cushion a bit of a luxury here which I don't have and two sleeping bags that's it this is how we're spending tonight hopefully we can sleep through the next 10 hours until we get to the coast in Nawadibu so wish us a peaceful and calm night here on the windswept Sahara. from Nodibu. It's breakfast time and we're living the luxury life. We have one very flat, slightly gray piece of bread and we got a boiled egg but on the inside you know it's gonna be just fine. No iron ore. It comes with its own packaging. Breakfast time. zippers. Rub a little blistics in there and they'll zip right back up. Guys, I think Let's uh, get our stuff quickly before the train keeps moving. I was following us for like uh, the past kilometer down the dusty road. As soon as he saw us, he uh, assumed that we wanted a taxi. And he's right, we do want a taxi. Our friend up here is uh, staying off for the ride, I guess. <laughs> but this is where our journey, whoa, journey ends for now. This. Yes. Whoo. Let's get to town. When you put two adventure travel YouTubers together in a hotel room, it is always a giant mess. Hey, it's Mike Corey of Fearless and Far, and I'm here with Ava of Ava Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Both travel the world making cool videos, but you know that already. But one thing you might not know is if you press the notification bell 
and you're subscribed, you get these notifications immediately when I post videos like this amazing one we just filmed. I think our lungs might have recovered from the black dust, but I know our camera gear hasn't because this lens has been effed up ever since. Yep, with tons of black dust coming out of my camera, my hair, my nose. Suitcase, clothing, yeah. <laughs> everything for weeks after. But we had a fantastic time. Mauritania was probably one of the coolest countries we've been to in a while. Partly because it is extremely remote and while people don't always enjoy filming, well you filming them, they were extremely friendly the entire time. We both have more videos coming out about Mauritania. Outside? is Bangladesh. Make sure to check out that series and also make sure to subscribe to us both, especially Eva, the lovely co-host here Yay. on the video today. <laughs> Chase your fierce dragons and I'll catch you in the next video on Fields and Fire.